Hey all you Let's Play fans, Baltus MC bringing you more AM2R. So in the last video we arrived here at the Distribution Center, a badass brand new area added into this fan version of Metroid 2, where we not only picked up the screw attack, but the gravity suit as well. Excellent! So now that we have both of those items and we have activated the Distribution Center, we can actually head back to all the previous areas that we visited so far in this game and collect items that we weren't able to before. Now the good thing is we actually don't have to take the long way back in order to get to those areas, because we can take each one of these tubes here, and it'll take us back to one of those previous areas. And as you can see, this tube here took us all the way back to the Golden Temple. So that's badass. It makes doing all this item collecting so much easier and quicker. Alright, now that we're back here, we want to take out all these bird beaks along the way. It'll make doing what we have to do in here much easier. And see, we have a power cell at the top of this room. We want to get that thing all the way back down to the bottom. Which, sometimes easier said than done. Because this ball loves to fly out one of the side doors all the fucking time. And then if it does that, you have to go all the way back to the top in order to set it again. Alright. It's like you're really close there, buddy. There we go. Alright, so now that that's activated, we can actually head to this doorway, where we have a little bit of a speed puzzle. I'm curious if I can get it on the first try. Alright, there we go. We'll just jet across like this. Ah, couldn't get that last part. But we got the super missile tank in there. Yeah, that last part isn't required, but if you do it just right, then you, uh... Save the speed boost, that way you can just boost up there much faster. But yeah, that went rather smoothly. Alright, so now we just want to make our way up through the top of this area. Yeah, it's kind of cool backtracking through all these areas now that you're really super powerful. It's one of the things I always liked about Super Metroid, is it showed that progression of power. Alright, there we go. I'm surprised I was able to pull that off. <laughs> yeah, some of the speedrunning tricks in this are pretty difficult. It's like only some of them I've been able to master. Alright, set a power bomb there and grab this power bomb tank. And then we'll just grab that missile tank as well. And get heading on out. Yeah, we could have grabbed that missile pack a, a long time ago. But, yeah, as you saw, no real point to get it then, since we had to head that way anyways. With a power bomb much later on. Alright. We'll just head through this way now. I just set a power bomb there just to save a little bit of time. There we go. So I gotta save time there if I didn't grab onto the damn ledge. Like, sometimes that ledge grab ability can be really fucking annoying. Alright, so now we're just heading over here to the Hydro Station, because there's a couple more items over here that we can nab. Alright, there we are. And now we'll just head up here to the top of this station. It's a little bit faster to go around this way. Alright, there we go. Now let's see if I can pull this off. Oh, there we go. I guess that works. <laughs> it's like sometimes doing that isn't as easy for me. Alright, there we go. You can see we have another power cell here in this room. Yeah, this one can be a little bit difficult to get down there. So it's pretty much just a hope for the best every time you shoot the damn missile at it. Alright, there we go. It's like, I'll come back for that later on. I just wanted to do that right then. That way I didn't have to worry about it later on. And we'll head back down here to this breeding area. And the good thing is, now that we have the gravity suit, these vines actually won't hurt us anymore. That's kind of neat. I mean, they didn't do a whole bunch of damage to begin with. Alright, then we just want to uh, boost straight up from there. Because we can grab this missile pack. And we can also grab this power bomb back as well. 
Yeah, these items are really well hidden. It's like, unless you found that wall when you were going through here previously, you might not know that there was actually something there. So yeah, some of these uh, items in this game are really difficult to find. Alright, there we go. Yeah, you want to make sure you shoot that wall just like that. Because that will uh, gain you access over here to that super missile tank. Because yeah, if you, actually, if you are not careful on where you shoot that super missile, you can actually take out a little bit of the floor there. And then you just have to leave the room to reset it again. So that can get a little bit annoying. Because yeah, there's like two super missile blocks that go into the floor as well. Alright, and we'll head through here and to this secret area. We can find another one of these tubes. Ah, check it out. This one took us all the way down here, back towards the tower area. And allowed us to pick up that missile tank as well. And we couldn't have grabbed that one previously, because as you saw, we needed the screw attack in order to get through there. But yeah, that's all we needed to come back here for. So now we can just take this hidden tunnel over to the right. Yeah, it takes us back here to the hub world. And then we'll take this tube straight on up. And this will take us back to the industrial center. I freaking love uh, how we're backtracking to all these areas so quickly like this. Alright, and we'll just jet straight up from there. Oop. Missed one of those freaking sand blocks. Go figure. Alright, now this one can be a little bit tricky. We want to make sure we shoot open that door with a super missile. Then we'll get out our power bombs. And we'll come onto this platform, charge up a speed boost, and then just jet through like that, set the power bomb, and then boost through that wall, and then boom, that's how you get that power bomb tank. It's like I made that look a lot easier than it is, because that one can take a little bit of trying to do. But I sat here practicing on that damn thing for a long time, so that's why I was able to do it rather quickly. Alright, so now I just want to head back through here, avoid these guys if we can. Alright, and we'll head through this wall. There we go. Set a power bomb there. Alright. Then we'll just use our super missiles to guide that orb, that energy cell, down to that statue. So we can get this power bomb tank. It's a, that's one of my favorite puzzles. I'm surprised there's not more puzzles in Super Metroid games where you use the impact of the super missiles to move shit around. It's like it's a pretty cool mechanic if you ask me. All right, now let's see if I can get this one right. All right, got the power bomb selected. There we go. Set the power bomb, and we'll just jet straight up here. Now you don't have to do that because there is an elevator there, but I just like doing that because it's much more fun to just uh, speed boost right up that shaft like that. Oh, looks like we have a scan incoming. The GFS Thoth. Oh, it looks like there's a ship out here. So, and our gunship is also nearby, registered to the rescue team. Oh, that is right. That is one of our other mini objectives, is to find that rescue team. Yeah, so far we haven't had a whole lot of luck. Alright, what's interesting about this room, you won't get to see it for too long. But yeah, that room, if you played Fusion, you might recognize it. So yeah, that was actually used in the opening scene. It even has the frog in there and everything, so that's kind of neat. Alright, if we head all the way over here, we can grab another power bomb tank. And there's that gunship that the scan was talking about. Yeah, this is a rather creepy area. It's got its own music and everything. Alright, well here's the Thoth. Kind of an odd name for a ship. Oh, got another scan incoming. 
see. Well, it's the same scan as before. Oh, but we've got a new thing down here. See, no signal, no signal. Ooh, level 3 East Wing, movement detected. Could it be a survivor? Well, this is a Metroid game, so I pretty much doubt that. Well, let's go ahead and check that out. So we'll just head up top here. See, this is level 3 East Wing. Well, looks like there's an energy tank in here. Nothing else. Uh-oh. Spoke too soon. Looks like we got ourselves an enemy in here. This is Genesis. What's really neat about this guy is if you've played Fusion, he was actually one of the enemies that you could come across in this game. He was just a regular old enemy. But in this one, he's kind of like a little mini-boss. That's kind of neat. You gotta watch out for this fucker, too. It can hit a little bit hard if you come here unpre uh, unprepared. Right, there we go. Right, he should be dead here soon. Fine, I'll set another power bomb for you. Yeah, there we are. It's like, that guy can take the abuse there. Like, holy shit. Yeah, just a neat little mini-boss there. Yeah, we're actually done here. There's nothing else that we can get. That other doorway over there leads to a save point there, if you wanted to use it. But I'm doing good. Yeah, too bad there's not much else that we can do here on the ship. It is kind of neat, uh, coming across something like that. Alright, and we'll just take the elevator back down here. What's really cool is you can see we passed through some of the areas that we previously came across uh, going through the game. You can actually see that elevator shaft in the background. It's like, I love that. A neat little touch in the game. It's like, thanks, squid bro. Alright. So now we just want to backtrack out of here. We'll head back towards the industrial area. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I love doing all the item collection in this game. It's like, I'll even admit it, I think this, by far, is one of my favorite games in Metroid to do the backtracking for. Just because of how uh, seamless it is, and how quick it is as well. Ah, wasn't able to get the charge there. Oh well. It's not that important. It's fucking enemies, man. Get out of here! You're harsh my mellow. Alright, so we're done here in the industrial uh, complex. So now I'll just be backtracking on out of here. There we go. And we'll just head back th uh, through the tunnel that we came here uh, from. There we go. Alright, and back in here we go. Alright, so that's all the items in the previous area. So now we want to do a little bit more exploring here. Uh, in the distribution center. But there's still quite a few things that we can get here. Uh, only, Not only that, we have seven more Metroids to deal with, and have no idea where they're at. Oh, shit! Well, there's five of them! <laughs> yeah, for some reason they decided to throw, like, five Alpha Metroids at you at once. Though I think they did that in this game, just to show you how much more powerful you are now. Right, there we go. I'm not gonna bother sticking around for you guys' death. Yeah, there's five Metroids down. Which sounds like a cover for three doors down, but fuck that band. Let's go ahead and set Power Bomb. You might be wondering why the hell I did that. Well, if we head over this way... Ah, yeah, you can see that I uncovered this hidden area. Which led to another power bomb tank. Alright, fuck you guys. <laughs> That's a neat little move to avoid him there. Alright. 
Got more of these fishy dudes. Alright, let's go ahead and get a, a speed boost charge. And I'll just boost on through this room. So I don't have to deal with all those guys' crap. Alright, check it out. We got ourselves a save point here. Which I'm going to go ahead and utilize. Then we'll have to check out the rest of the distribution center in the next video. Stay tuned for more AM2R.